Uh, hello. We are um, making a video diary of the day today. Uh, I'm at Conrad's oh, house right now. We're going to the beach, and we're going to have a really fun-filled day at the beach. Uh, Conrad is getting ready right now. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a good day, and uh, we're very excited. This is uh, video log one, and uh, we will get back to you shortly. Okay. Goodbye. So we run into difficulty one <laughs> of the trip. We are unable to find a frisbee. And this is uh, going to prove disastrous because everybody knows that you need a frisbee at the beach. But we can't find it. But we did find. Wait, I'm bringing it up. A super soaker. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, look, it's not hard to get out. Look. It's getting further and further down. All right, look, Difficulty look. one. Now we found a volleyball. This isn't good. All right. The design's recording. What's up? Uh, we are currently driving down to Seaside. We're staying on 26. We're about 45 minutes away. Uh, we've been in here for uh, you know a pretty good time, cranking the tunes, talking. You know, just doing what's good. Conrad's driving here. He's yeah, doing baby. a good job, man. He doesn't know where he's going, but so I gotta give him the directions. I'm the, GP tractor. I'm the GPS for this trip. There's a tractor just driving by us. <laughs> tractor to, to Dude, or Oregon's beautiful. Check this out. This is good stuff right here. Good stuff. Tell them how diverse it is. So Oregon's diverse. We can dig it. We can dig it. We like it here. But we're, we're going to move to California when we get older. It's nice there. Time for an update. Uh, we're driving through the uh, Tillamook State Forest right now. Uh, beautiful out here. Um, we are we're currently in twilight. Yeah, uh, we're, we're we're in the we're twilight gonna... area right now. I mean, we might there could be a vampire sighting, but we or don't know. Or werewolves. Uh, you, you never know what you're gonna find in the Tillamook State Forest. I mean, yeah, man. We're just you know, trying to get to the beach. Swag. It's gonna be a good day at the beach. All right, so we've arrived in Seaside. We're finally at the beach. Made it. Beautiful, stopping at Shell. Conrad's gotta go pick up his sunflower seeds, but uh, we're gonna make it to the beach soon. Nice to be here. So uh, it's 11, 11.45 here. In, in the morning. In the morning, and we're trying to get our uh, lunch in at Taco Bell. And um, right now, this is clearly the spot to hang in Seaside because it's literally packed. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I have, I have never seen this many people Hitting up the bell and hitting up the KFC, but dude, it's just going down here. We have a winner. The man has won cinnamon twists. KFC, Taco Bell. I can get my popcorn chicken and a five layer. I'm going to try and be as undercover as possible so that I cannot offend anybody in here. This is the place to be in Seaside. It's 11.30. And this place is popping off right now. KFC and Taco Bell together. This is the place to be in Seaside, people. Let me tell you. All right, so we just finished our um, Taco Bell KFC extravaganza. And um, now driving to the beach so we can take a little walk along the promenade. Uh, overall, my review of the food is quite poor. I was very disappointed in the Taco Bell production there. KFC, however, was very uh, clearly, impressive. Clearly, they specialized in uh, KFC. Yeah, absolutely. They, the popcorn chicken is tremendous. Oh, look at those dogs! We just found three dogs. Oh my, oh my gosh! That's great. No, highlight of the Taco Bell trip, though. We ran into a family with 11 children, and they were all gingers. It was it was a sight that I'd never seen before, and I loved it. All right, catch you later. Just met some homies at the Nike store, but unfortunately on the downside we learned that the video is running out of battery, so our recording is now limited. So, you could call us embarrassing, but we're at Seaside. We can't find the beach! And we can't, we can't find the beach. <laughs> and we don't know how to get there. This is embarrassing, and we're lost. We're at uh, Seaside High School. Seaside High School, everyone. Home of the, uh... Wait, we just pull a U-turn. We just pulled the U-turn. Because we're lost. Because we're lost. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We may be heading home soon because we can't run the beach. No, we're not. We will not give up. Seaside is popping right now. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. We found the beach. 
We found the beach, baby. And we found the arcade oh, right there. Screen. It's going. Watch it's out. popping off right now. This is the place to be in the summer. All the honey's everywhere. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, so we literally just got the most prime parking spot. Yep. Right on the Broadway of like of Seaside. I just parallel parked for my first time ever. First time ever, he parallel parallel parks this to get bus. on bus. I parked the bus, baby. Like. This is Hello, the most man. prime spot ever. This is about to be the best day. We're gonna even, kick it. I don't even think bus drivers Dude, can parallel it. park buses. We're about to hit up the beach right now. We're about to hit up the beach, yeah, okay? Yeah, bring our boogie boards, baby. Get in our swimsuits. We're on boogie boards. On the beach. We found the beach. After a, a long search, we're here. Now we're gonna go um, walk, take a long walk on the beach. Nice and romantic-like. Me and my boy, you know. Some people say, you know, we got too much of a man love, but... A little romance going on, yeah. you dig? Uh, I don't see it, you know? There's two guys trying to enjoy a day at the beach together. Look at this. You know, taking full advantage of summer, baby. This is prime. This is a prime time. All right, just got back from the arcade, and uh, about, to go, about to go boarding. We're going to change in my truck. In front of everybody walking on the uh, sidewalk, going to be a little awkward. Yeah. But, uh... I don't have any underwear either, so. And the honeys are out and about, but this is about to be fun, so we're looking forward to the boarding. Yeah. How do, I, how do I get this going? All right. Hello, everybody. Um, so we're currently in the back of the car, and we both realized that we don't have any underwear to wear underneath, so we're about to um, both strip down in the nude. Literally, in, on Liter the sidewalk. In, in my seaside. truck, and... My windows may be tinted, but I don't think they're that tinted, so, you know, we'll uh, bear with us here. We might get some strange looks, but other than that, you know, just living another day in the life in the summer, baby. All right, good night. How do I turn this off? Wait a minute. Middle, middle. Press the red. All right. <laughs> just got done boogie boarding. It was pretty intense. Now Peter's whole body is chafing. <laughs> I cut my foot. I got the bottom of my foot. <laughs> and there's also some ladies over there to like about about 20 yards in front of us. And uh, Peter's this is this is not the very best way to impress them. <laughs> Peter's kind of struggling right now, but uh, I think he's going to wash himself off. There he goes. There goes Peter. How do I pause it? And there they are, females in the natural habitat. <laughs> Staking them out. Tanning. <laughs> Give the camera. That's like we said. Peter scoped out some girls. We're secretly showing you them, but I'm trying to hide the camera. Can you see him? Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're... They're approaching, they're approaching. They're getting closer. I'm gonna take Peter. Zoom in. Wow, that... How wonderful you, you tie your shorts, Peter. Here we go. About to do some bumper cars. It's gonna be big. We're excited to say the least, and it's about to go down right now, okay? All right, pre-game interviews. Conrad, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna break somebody. Anything else? Is there a game plan? Is there a strategy? Uh, don't let anyone, at the end of this uh, bumper course match, no one is leaving except me. Everyone else, go to the ambience, baby. That's the mindset, at a baby. Go get him. Car number 15, do me justice. That was pretty difficult to say the least. Uh, oh, dude, I actually, I actually painful. got some bruises. Post game interview, please. But I. You want me to give you a post game interview? I'm, uh, I'm stunned, to say the least. I was shaken up going in, and then I, uh, I lost it. The car wasn't handling, and uh, 
I took some shots. Yeah, me too. Me too. I got some injuries. See this? Pinball. That's my game. That's me. That ain't him though. Pinball? Pinball's not your thing? I, I'm not very good at pinball. Alright, we'll see what's... Alright, this is legit. We're searching for pieces right now in the treasure trove. And we are... Uh, I'm unsuccessful in round one, but Conrad thinks that he can get it. I, I don't really want to. It's not, see, it's not swiping my card. This yeah, is a sign. This He's is a sign. He's upside down. 50 cents a play. There you go. Oh, we're locked in. $1 on the right, card. Right, Enjoy right, your play. Right. Ready? Is there a time limit? There he goes. Oh! What's he going for? Line me up. Line me up. Go, you got to go back. Go to the right more. Right, right, right. This is intense. You have five seconds. You have five seconds. No! What did you do? Oh, oh, yes, yes. No! <laughs> this is bullshit. Unsuccessful. What is this? God dang it. So apparently, they don't do coins anymore. Pull it up. They do cards. Who does cards at games, at arcades? It's no swag. So Conrad and I are going our separate ways. He's going over to, um... Uh, I'm, to I'm doing deer hunter. Deer hunter. We're hitting up the deer hunter right now. I'm gonna go freaking hunt. All right. So I'm so, shocked uh, right now. So Peter has, uh, we were just playing blackout in the little bingo, whatever you call it, game. And, uh... Peter didn't win, but uh, apparently they thought he did. So, uh, Peter, I just, how I do just you won, feel? I just won a thousand points. Uh, I don't even know how I did it. That's a thousand right there. I'm shocked. I, I had one left to go, but I made it seem. I acted. I, I played the flop. And <laughs> I, I pulled it out. Victory. Here we go. Make the perfect right now. All right. All right. So, uh, Peter had 990 points that he could have spent, and he could have bought exactly 100 Jolly Ranchers. But instead, he chose to get an outdoor survival kit. Because it has knives. This is going to be crap. <laughs> it's got its own pouch. This is legit. This is legit. Oh, yeah. Who wanted the Jolly Ranchers now? Look what I got. Why? Are, why are they selling that? They I don't should know. not be giving that it's up. It's kind of dangerous, though. All right, we're done. All right, everybody. So uh, we uh, have reached the end of our day at the beach. Um, I think I can speak for. Peter and I both that uh, it's been a wonderful journey, isn't that right? I definitely shared some special times today with my my dear friend Conrad, and it's definitely some times that I'll never forget. Yeah. And uh, you know I'm just want to take this trip again sometime. Yeah, me too. It was really moving. It was great. We uh, just got done. We uh, got some fudge, and then and then we went back to the beach one more time. Oh, we went to pick a uh, pancake also. We had dinner there. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But anyway, we had to go to the beach one more time, you know. We uh, watched the sunset while uh, while our uh, hands were around each other's waists. Watched the sunset slowly go down. It was great. Yeah, no I'm gonna... <laughs> um, And uh, we also, you know, took some pictures. We had a little photo op down by the beach. It was nice. Yeah. Um... Other than that, you know, things were wild in the morning, but you know, they're definitely milding down. You know, people a little more uh, slower now. People are tired, you know, they've had a pretty yeah, adventurous yeah. day. All right, we're turning it off. All right, but you know, it's been great. Goodbye, everybody.